It's obviously tremendous to have someone with um, DJ's experience, knowledge in a situation like this. You know, it's a lot of a lot of what we do is is staying ahead of the game, and you know, he was one of the innovators. He was one of the chaps that led the way the game was played. So to have that depth of knowledge and experience is massively uh, useful to us all. Yeah, that's like I said in previous interviews that um, you know what I'm doing now is the same thing I used to be doing while I won the field of play. The only difference I'm not playing anymore, but um, you know, as coach mentioned, for me, what I bring to the table is this, that, you know, game feel and, and, and try to add some cricket smarts and we bounce off ideas a lot. You know, we, we watch game and we keep messaging each other while the game are going on. So it, it's good that we both have that kind of investment into the game and that we're able to, when we come to our team meetings, he always said it's learning for all of us, not, not just for the bowlers, but for all of us. We want to learn of each other and try to just, you know, come up with a game plan that, 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 that you know, we think will work. You often hear commentators talk about the team needs to take wickets in the power play. That's easy to, to say, but our job is to work out how we do it. That's the tactics. And then the other layer that we've done a lot of this year is, is why we use that tactical, why we use that field. And that's an education and a process so that they feel, number one, is as equipped as possible to make decisions in the middle. It's, it's a bit of a cliche to talk about process and looking at process, but we very specifically look at the process and the execution of a plan rather than the outcome. In a situation where you have teams scoring 200 every match now, if you just look at outcomes, You'll, you'll get confused. So we've had situations where an over's gone for 22 runs, an over's gone for nine and a wicket's been taken. If you look at the execution, they're pretty close. So I think for us to create that safety for the guys to understand, your job is to execute because as much as you can talk about confidence in situations, knowing you can execute the ball is what gives you the confidence. And that's what we do a lot in the nets, is, is give them draws, give them ideas of how to build that confidence. We are blessed, CSK is always blessed to have good human beings and good youngsters and, and they are willing to learn and um, very good work ethic and it's always good as you know, a team to have players like that. Um, you know, none of them have any type of ego or anything like that and it's, it's good guys, it's just good kids that hungry for success, want to do well. IPL is the biggest stage and you know, we are our our job and role is to make sure that we prepare them well to the best of their ability to go out there and perform and not judge them based on the outcome of the game or their personal performance. But once they prepare well, we know they will give their best and that's important. Coach mentioned you know, we create a safe space where we allow them to express themselves, um, we ask questions, um, see their thinking and stuff. So, um, yeah, so in the net, again, that's why we practice, you know, because we practice in a particular way, knowing that this is more likely might happen in the game. So you try to create scenarios that will happen in the game, in the net, so that therefore when it happens in the game, they're not into a, a, a body shock. Well, we take the power play and divide that into three phases. Then there's the middle phase and the death phase. And how you stack those all up together depends on, on how we enter the, the, the back end of the innings. And for us, the very important phase is, is that middle phase. So we, we, have, we, we, don't, we don't talk a lot to the spinners. They've, they're so individual. I mean, you can't compare Tikshana to Mo to, to Jadu or Mishanta. They're so individuals. A lot more individual conversations. But we have, a, we have a specific objective, and I'm not going to tell you what the specific objective is, because that would be reduce, releasing some IP that, that we, we expect from them and expect from them, that we agree on and that we're looking for all the time. But we quickly said in, a, in a one of our first meetings, our second meetings, that we might not be the team on paper where we have these you know, superstar bowling lineup. We want to be the smartest team, that's for sure, and we're on course for that. And I think, um, again, that comes from, you know, trust, going through drills, the work ethic these guys have. None of them 
you know, sometimes coach have to beg them, okay, I don't want to see you bowl today. Okay, <laughs> so um, they just hungry for success, hungry to learn, want to get better. Once you have that work ethic and, and that hunger for success, you're on the right track. And all we can do is just facilitate them, create that safe space, you know, just keep encouraging them and again, remind them that we want to be the smartest team. You, you can't have a captain like MS Doney and get too caught up in, in results. In, you, you play and you're measured by results, obviously, but you know, it's about enjoying each other's company. It's about building cohesion. It's about becoming a family. And, and I think that's part of the natural focus. If you come into this environment, that's what you'll feel. And that's true of even the netballers. I think that's one of the reasons why so many netballers come through um, our environment. Because I think it's a place of, of honesty, of learning, of, of, of each other, lack of ego. There's no ego around it. And I think that's part of, part of what it is. That's why it's, it is a happy bunch. And you know, we know this game, tomorrow, tomorrow we could be under the pump. There's, there's no guarantee of success. But you know, it is what it is. And I think, I think having the right attitude towards it and uh, from our two leaders, you know, whether it's Emerson or whether it's Stephen Fleming, that's what they're about. And that's the, the message. Yeah, it's good mention. They are, they are his kids. They are my brothers. <laughs> they are my brothers. So I think you know. Again, you always feel good when your your, your kid achieves something, or your brother, or your sibling achieves something. You want to enjoy it with them, share that moment with them, and um, you know. Yeah, I remember they are my teammates a few months ago. You know, so nothing changes. You know, not because and then. Uh, with this entire coaching staff, whether it's Flair, whether it's Eric, whether it's um, Hussey, who was a player as well, we all remain on the same level. There doesn't, they, they, there is not a, a a space between players and, and the coach and staff. So um, it's good that I'm a young coach that I can still enjoy these moments with with these guys and um, enjoy the success. And again, we're happy.